what's happening guys so today's pickups day um i didn't post yesterday uh i was a bit too busy unfortunately um, but anyway it actually worked out for the better because i did actually get some extra pickups yesterday and also something that was delayed in the post on ebay um which will also be in this video um so in actual fact it worked out better technically um, I didn't post anything last week because I literally didn't have anything, didn't have anything to show. Um, so yeah, but obviously when we go through, you'll see, you know, sort of what I've got, when I've got it, all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, here we go. So, first of all, this odd looking thing here that is never in my game room is a brand new, um, well, it's not brand new, but it's a unit that basically is like on a spindle. Um, it's... One, two, three, four, five. So five of these um, within this structure, and it was it's too wide. So what I mean by that, not it's it's not too wide. I mean it's two of these, and it's on a base that spins. Um, it's not electric or anything like that. Um, but the guy that was selling it was selling it on eBay, and he's local. Literally, is dead on six minutes away from here in the car. And my wife said to me, by the way, uh, I've got something really cool and said that she made an offer and he accepted for five pounds. So it's basically like a new display. Um, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it yet, to be fair. Um, I need to kind of really look at where I'm able to put it because um, I'm a step closer to doing my whole room tour um, because just out of frame, which it always is, it's just past where my DS games are, there is a um, a cabinet which now has shelves. It didn't have enough shelves before, so I've had some shelves made for it, and it's got all of my art stuff in there. So that's all out of the way. That was just in boxes, basically, in front of it. Um, so I don't really know where this is going to go, uh, especially because it's two of them, uh, technically. So, yeah, but that was £5, um, and it's really cool. I mean, I'll find something for it. Um, but, yeah, I like that. Um, the next thing that I've got which arrived this morning is this it's literally just the manual for uh turbo tournament 96 and the reason why is because i didn't have it i bought the game in a previous pickups video a couple of weeks ago um and it's because it didn't arrive with the manual and it is a it is a manual that i don't have that i've been able to actually get off ebay because honestly if you type in mega drive manual or anything like that they're either severely overpriced, they're repros, or they just aren't there. And honestly, it, it just baffles me. Like I, I, I don't have most of this top row manual-wise, and it saddens me, as I'm sure most of game collectors. So yeah, um, out there for the Sega lovers um, that watch, and yeah. There we go, so there's that, and that cost me five pounds, including post, literally postage all in, everything was five pounds. And this is a great pickup that I got, that technically puts that to shame. This is Mega Games 3, I have Mega Games 1 and 2, uh, that I've had since I was a kid. And this right here, this has the original sticker on there, which says 39.99, it's slightly faded, but you can see there, 39.99, whatever shop this was from, and it's complete. It has all three of these manuals that are on, are in pristine condition as well. The car is in pristine condition. And the guy that was selling this, he sells stuff every so often on Facebook Marketplace. And it's usually gaming related. And I've never been able to successfully do a deal with him for whether it's because he's already sold it or it's because he wants me too much or whatever. And he was asking for all these Mega Drive games for three pounds each and all of the others were sports apart from this random one. And I was like, I don't have it. I want it. It's three pounds. So yeah, for a, for a three pound game, I think this is pretty good. So yeah, I'm just gonna utilize this actually. There we go. And the next thing, this is from Cancer Research, one pound. Not really a lot you can say about it really. It's, um, it's a good book. It's not amazing. I think it's more, if you are, a big Assassin's Creed fan um, because it's very digital art and I like more um, more traditional type art. There are some really good character models in here um, 
really well drawn but for a pound i couldn't really say no there was actually the um strategy guide which i didn't get either because i'm not that big of a fan i do have the first four games on the ps3 but i'm not that into it i'm more in for the fact that it's art that's why i got it in actual fact i would never ever use the strategy guide i've got a couple of strategy guides but I don't, i'm not in the habit of buying everyone i come across so yeah uh, that is plain by the way so yeah that is not going to fit so we'll put that here and the next thing i did a deal with my mate ben and he gave me um time crisis black label uh, it's all complete it's a very very nice uh, case apart from literally just a crack in the middle there which it's neither here nor there that's fine um it's all complete and the manual is pristine very happy with that and yeah um that cost me five pounds and he got this and this is also in great condition um, it looks like it's just sat on somebody's shelf and never been taken out, pretty much. It's all complete. And he's even putting some bubble wrap for me. Thanks, Ben. Um, and this, with this, cost me £20. He did, he did a great deal for me. So I swapped him um, the Crash Bandicoot Necker figure that I got a while ago uh, that usually is on my shelf. Um, you, can, you can see it in some videos, but not all. Um, and yeah, he he already has this and he knew that I really wanted this and he said yeah that's fine so £20 is the great deal that he did for me thank you very much Ben um, let's put it in there. but the reason why I'm very happy with that as well is because I already have this so if you remember a few months ago I got this and it's got the gun it's got the um, is it plastic like the plastic shell that's inside uh, the box isn't in great condition, but for display purposes, it looks really good. So now it's complete. And the last thing that I got is this. Okay, so and you might be thinking, cost. well, it's not a big deal. But the eagle-eyed of you, or the people that regular, know about regular. these, is this. Just for testing, what is the game? And it was grubby. It was dirty. Um, this is literally what I bought. I didn't buy the leads or anything like that. This is what was there. And the story behind this is that I was in an auction house. So there's a local auction house that um, does things every sort of couple to a few months. Um, it's a guy that mainly does house clearances. And he also buys job lots of things as well. A very, very nice bloke. And he does it online. So you can browse through the catalogue, you can go down if you wish to have a look at things. It, it is pretty much a sold as seen type situation. And when I went to go and collect things for my wife, um, I then saw that this was on the side. And I said to him, what do you do with the stuff that hasn't sold? Um, because I was actually looking at watches as well, um, just like a G-Shock or something like that. And he said, oh, just make me an offer and I'll do it with you now. So when I saw this, I knew what it was straight away because of the buttons. The buttons on the majority of people that had a PS1 um, back in the day, like myself included, I've still got it. Um, it has the symbols instead of the writing. So this has the writing power and open. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw these on the back and I said, how much? And he was like, five pound, you can have it. Like, okay. So usually you have to pay uh, like VAT, like tax on top, and um, that's like covered their costs. You know, he just charged me a straight five pounds. Uh, I got it back, cleaned it up, and I plugged it in, and it works. So I was very happy with that because it is like a, a collector's type piece. It's not something you come across every day. And there are people that are on Facebook and, and everything else that try and sell them for some sort of ridiculous money just because they they know something about it but it's something i didn't have and uh, i'm not in the habit of buying sort of loads of different types of the same console i'm not really about that i mean i've got a mega drive one i've got mega drive two i've got a master system two um you know it's not really about the fact that i need loads and loads of the same console um so yeah um, very happy with that, £5. So this month, um, 
sorry, this week has gone quite well so far. But yeah, like I say, there are people that, you know, sort of say, well, do you, you, you know, you must be skin and everything else. Like, no, I don't. I'm quite stingy, to be fair, uh, where I can be. Um, I have turned deals down in the past and this week included as well. I've had, I've, you know, I've tried to bottle with people that said no and I'm like, okay, that's fine, whatever. I'm not, I'm not going to bend just just for a um just for a purchase so yeah so i'm very happy with those and yeah that's about it really um i'll update once i've done something with this if it's gaming room related um i'm hoping it will be obviously for display and everything else but you never know i don't really know what i can do with it um sort of size permitting really so yeah hope you have a nice weekend guys and uh stay safe <laughs>